Protecting your body from bee stings is very important. The fewer stings that you get through your beekeeping endeavor, the more enjoyable it will be. And there's one primary way to protect yourself from bee stings on your body, and that is by wearing the bee suit. Historically, bee suits were made of material that was somewhat breathable, but always white, and white for two reasons. The first of those being to minimize the heat. It's hot working in bee suits, and white reflects the sunlight. Secondly, when bees get defensive, they sting dark colors. So the fact that bee suits are white minimizes the things on you that would be dark and therefore attractive to bee stings. Today, bee suits have taken the next step in evolution and they're not solid pieces of cloth that are a little breathable. They've gotten significantly breathable over the years. A lot of today's modern suits are made of material that's just full of ventilation like what you can see here. And this bee suit, if worn properly, will protect your entire torso, it'll protect your arms, it will even protect your legs and almost all the way down to your feet. So bee suits are very important to consider wearing, especially when you start beekeeping. Now the full suit is something a lot of beekeepers like to migrate away from as they're more and more comfortable keeping bees. Even though bee suits have been around for a very long time, they've been replaced largely in commercial settings not with full suits, but rather bee jackets that protect simply the arms and the torso area. For example, this jacket here has a lot of the same features that an entire suit will have, except that it only goes down to about the belt level. But it still protects the torso and the arms, and it's still made of incredibly breathable and ventilated material. To the brand new beekeeper, bee suits are incredibly intimidating. I mean, there's zippers absolutely everywhere, there's pockets everywhere, you're not quite sure how to start putting these things on your body. The good news, it's really, really simple to do. It's as simple as this. Okay, it's not that simple. Okay, it wasn't that simple at all. So let me show you how to put a bee suit onto your body properly so that you can protect yourself from bee stings. So starting from the beginning, bee suits have zippers in the front so that you can put them on almost like a pair of pants. And once you put them on like a pair of pants, you will swing up the torso part and then thread your arms through the armholes. What's important to know though is a lot of legs of bee suits today have zippers from about midway up the calf all the way down to the bottom of the suit. And the reason for that's quite simple. If you unzip those zippers, it allows you to put the legs on while you are wearing shoes. So I see a lot of beginner beekeepers make that mistake where they're trying to get their leg through the leg of a bee suit, but they can't push their shoe or foot through. And the secret to that is simply unzipping at the bottom. So once you have the zipper at the bottom of both legs unzipped fully, you just put your suit on a lot like a pair of pants. Now with both legs threaded through the bee suit, you can pull it up to your belt area and then begin putting on the upper half as if it were a jacket or a button shirt. Now that I have the suit on, what you're going to find yourself doing is zipping up the opening in the front. It is important to know that on a lot of the zippers on the front of bee suits, there's actually a zipper on both ends. And if you're not careful, you can take the lowermost zipper and zip it all of the way up, which closes your suit at the top, but not at the bottom. And so you want to make sure to watch out for that. Another feature of a lot of today's bee suits are these loops that come out of the sleeve of the suit and the loop goes around your thumb. That's going to be very useful when I demonstrate for you in another video on how to put on bee gloves because with that loop on your thumb, you can slide your hand and the sleeve of the suit goes with your hand into the glove. So you're going to want to make sure and put both of those loops over your thumb like I demonstrate here. Remember at the very beginning of putting on our suit, the first thing I told you was to unzip the legs so that you could push your feet even with shoes on them through the leg of the suit. Well, now you need to go back and undo that and make sure that you zip up those legs all the way to the bottom to protect your ankle area. If you do that well, there will be elastic material at the very bottom of the pants leg that goes around the top of your shoe or boot to further protect your feet and ankles. 
The last thing that you're going to do to make sure that your suit is on properly is a lot of today's suits will have Velcro patches at the top of the zipper because in everything that zips, it leaves a little tiny hole where that zipper meets the top and you're going to be able to close that hole by Velcroing together both halves of the suit over that hole. Today's bee suits are incredibly modern and they come with all sorts of features. Of course, the first thing you'll notice is there's absolutely pockets everywhere. There's often pockets on your chest at the area where you would expect there to be pockets. There are pockets that are made for your hands, pockets that may, are made for your hive tools. There are some bee suits today even that have slits cut in the side so that you can take your hands and put them into the actual pants pockets of the pants that you're wearing underneath your suit. So there's lots of different features that you can investigate when you're shopping around the different types of suits that you might want to wear. One last piece of information about bee suits is people always want to know what they should wear under them. And I always start with the recommendation, at least something, right? A lot of people think, well, if a bee suit's going to protect me from bee stings, then wearing a pair of pants and wearing a long sleeve shirt under it will protect me yet again from stings, but of course the more clothes you wear under a bee suit, the hotter the suit's going to be and the more cumbersome the movements will be. So what I recommend is that you wear a light pair of pants and maybe a t-shirt on under your suit and probably after some time of wearing a bee suit, you'll end up wearing just shorts and a t-shirt on up under it. Putting on a jacket is a lot like putting on a suit, except you don't have to thread your feet and your legs through the legs of the bee suit because the jacket, like the name implies, only covers the upper torso. So like putting on the bee suit, you would just unzip the front, then you would put this on just like you would put on a jacket, then you would ensure that you are zipped from top to bottom, and then you Velcro the top to close any holes that the zipper may leave. Otherwise, it's nearly identical to putting on a bee suit. If you've done absolutely everything right, you should look like this, fully suited and ready to take the next step with personal protective equipment.